the draft. Beastmaster was the final. I like pick. the Beastmaster pick. I like the Beastmaster pick too. That. Um, with that queen, of he pain. needs to rely on the champ to help him. Though I think DP will have a. Oh, here we go. The aggression. Yeah. I'll oh, start with the wrap around. The Hadouken is there. An S4. He's going to try and heal up with the Spirit of Cyclone, but the Shadow Strike poison damage ticking him down. The right clicks fly through. Is it going to be enough with the right clicks from the creeps? He's going to duke it out. It's not enough. Shadow Strike poison attack. brings him down, and Dendi will yes. find the first blood there in the mid lane. And as you said. As you as we're saying, the off lanes are really the polarizing points between these two sides at this point. You've got pretty much double the XP on this Doom compared to Beastmaster. Mid lane S4 trying to move in onto Dandy, 1v1. There is the back of the chair here for S4. Even if he does get a kill, which he won't, he's going to be in trouble. The wraparound's there. That's going to be another kill here for Dandy, thanks to the rotation of art style. Without levels, can't do anything for his team. Uh, there's going to be a lot of kind of pressure, I guess, on the quad to use what, what what he's been given at this point. And top lane, charge him. They've got a full-on rocket barrage straight onto Akbo. And Akbo will get taken down. Already being punished in terms of the lane, now getting punished with his life. Bottom lane, Bordo being body blocked up by Suneko and Tichara. But again, with the Scorched Earth, he's going to be able to run it off. Bordo keeping himself alive and playing his... Uh, right now, the Queen of Pain has got out of the yeah, she anyway, She's going to jump straight in here onto S4. There will be a charge onto Denny, trying to hold him off the bash as well. S4 starts to heal up with the Spirit of Siphon. Sonic Wave onto two S4 down to the Shadow Strike. Trying to turn God. around, Dendi getting low. Dendi will be able to get himself a the ground. Starts to pull up Seneca. Will get taken down there by the rotation from Bulldog on the Doom. Dendi, he's got to be careful. The bash is there. EGM, but the blink is there in time. Dendi out to the side. Goes for the TP out. Will just be able to get himself away. So, they do only lose the IO there. The dupe spell and uh, they don't actually get any kills with yeah, it. It's a hefty cooldown. That was really, really Radiance big for Alliance. They're not losing attack. any hero outstar here. They're gonna get trapped by EGM. Is he gonna get lucky with the fastest OD? Oh, they've got the cooldown. Easily, easily they can close themselves in. The IO hill not quite enough. They will find the kill in return onto EGM. So they make it a one for one. That's gonna be some more favorable uh, action though oh, that Loader is in. Doesn't do anything into the game without his levels. Oh, we're going to see S4 getting caught out, Dendi jumps forward here, S4 between the two of them, there'll be a Storm Amos to finish him off, now EGM could be in trouble, God Strength popped by Dijera, they'll look to chase it, and with the burst they'll get it, Dendi on a killing spree, a second kill here for the side of Na'Vi, and uh, just a failed attempt to go for that rune, and, and it... uh, that was that was pretty big for them, getting those two kills right now, definitely. It's on the same net worth as the very, IO, very far behind, because He's... of all of that. I mean you talk about the potential catch up now, bottom lane, Bulldog moving in onto Akmo, They've be got the chase down, no way that this guy gets out. Denny looking for the jungle wall, can't quite get it. Might be able to find the turnaround, he's got the help of Arkdahl. With the who's done for the central, they get him. Do control him, and they do manage to find the kill onto the, onto the Duke. That was too old. Pressuring the top lane, pressuring the mid lane, so they are looking for a favourable trade. Getting a couple of tier 1s in trade for just the 1. My CL line is going to slip back in time to oh, defend, and they will. TP top, there's going to be a charge for from EGM. A Bulldog throws out the rock off to Suneko. Suneko will get taken down by the Doom. Now S4, these are the kind of kills that he needs to find. He's got the Spirit side one. he'll look to chase. Doom's been dropped, no escape for Dijerar. A second kill for the side of Alliance, and S4 getting himself a bit of money in the bank. Oh, he manages to buy his blink before he died, there. and that was a really good like, cannon splash on all the targets behind. So generally, you don't really need the range. The initial range here to the black kind of provides that. Yeah, well, top lane. Girard with the quick reactions, just blink away, but Artstyle getting caught out. There is backup. EGM just gets stunned on the back lines and he'll charge himself straight across, away from the side of Na'Vi. Oh, All heroes, same thing in chase. Blink 4 from Dendi with a right-click shadow strike down onto EGM. Looks like he'll be the one to drop on the side of Alliance. Blink 4 from Dichirado. Get the kill on the space cow. The rest of Alliance do manage to get themselves out of that one. Yeah, yeah so they are both locked down. And your team can actually clear out the frontliners for Na'Vi, especially the stem. And he's got an invis here and he's found Loader, Loader all on his own. There's backup from Dichira and Dichira if he can get the blink off into the storm hammer. This man's in a lot of trouble. Moving in with the god strength and Loader survive through this one. No, not with a sonic wave. Coming out from the quad. Last you stay at the invis rune and even going for a ghost scepter could be useful against the spam. Relocate mid, looking to catch out S4, punish the man who's already been punished. Three of them jumping in on him. He's all alone. S4 getting taken down again. This time, Io going to be the one credited with the kill. Suneko bringing the team in. And Alliance. They'll be in for some trouble here. Dichira is around, TPing himself back and away. And this death offer is going to be like, so useless in tier 5 because he dies so fast. And we see another raw at bottom. But EGM continues to look at him. And quickly he disappears. There was like not even a level 3 book. And here comes the Yara. More, more bloodshed here on the side of Elias. Dichira getting the Storm Island support. A 1 2 with the God Strength. Melting through the Doom. 11 to 6 now for Na'Vi. And this Sven, thanks to those kills, he's got the SMY done. 1k gold as well. That would help him if you actually get a team fight.
that's very playable for you, you can actually just back them. Because you have so much damage. Art style. And here's Bulldog moving in as well. They've got the Nether Strong. EGM jumps out the trees, but Snakeo bringing in Titara. Gets the Sanao to EGM. Lodi trying to move in, drops the cooldown out. The Doom's been dropped as well as Titara, but he just turns. Lodi, you don't want to walk into that. Titara slashes him down with the sword. And now he's trying to move in onto Ake. Ake holds him back. Did he take any damage there? Or what? <laughs> he's wearing that Doom as if it's a, as a necklace. He's, he's, he's looking like a. He's looking fabulous. EGM's out. He's had enough. He's seen the Sven, realized how damn scary this man is. And, uh, nope, oh, I'm sticking in the base with the rest of my team. <laughs> Coming out around yep. here, and Bulldog will spot out the courier. Dark Star with his newly found black dragons forcing back the doom. And now well, they're boring okay. him as well. And with the necro units, just look at him disappear. Bulldog out of the game for 50 seconds. That so much damage probably, from this Beastmaster and his necro threes. That's probably just two sides of Rex. Could be. He's got no buyback. Talk about this, and now with the storm hammer first force, silenced up as well. He'll use himself, but he's got minimal HP. They're trying to fight, the sonic wave flies through. Then the on a mega kill streak. They should buy back from the death profit, but no exorcism and no loader almost certainly. They chase him down. Then for a double kill for the quad. Ditra, uh, he's got the storm hammer. The spirit siphon will finish off. So S4 just by back gets a big kill. But the Black Dragons with their fireballs, the rest of the side of Na'Vi forcing S4 back up to the high ground. Loader trying to move in onto the front. He gets a silent stuff. He's down for 75. EGM, they're just throwing their bodies to the side of Na'Vi. And Na'Vi are taking the blink ball from Shelly. That's going to be the death profit down. GG is called. And Na'Vi take the game against Alliance. 30 minutes in. 19, 20 to 7. And Alliance. I, I, what, I, from kind of S4's underperformance in the mid lane or, or pretty much just how Na'Vi targets him. I think yeah. we saw there how you deal with the death ball. Yeah, but the thing is like, right, the Chen was doing so much for, for his team. He managed to gank the death prophet like three times in the early game. But at the same time, I felt like...